Keys, and I'm here to tell you about how to avoid getting sucked into someone else's follow-unfollow game on Instagram. Here's the situation. You have an account with some followers, but they aren't very huge because you're not a celebrity and none of your photos have ever gone viral or anything like that. One week you post some new photos on Instagram and you get around 10 new followers soon afterwards. You are so thrilled that you decide to follow these people back. But about a week or two later, you end up losing around 9 of these followers. Then you upload some more photos and you get 5 new followers. You decide to follow them back in return. A week or two later, you lose 5 followers. What is going on here? Well, chances are that you have just been sucked into other people's playing the follow-unfollow game on Instagram. This used to happen to me until I learned about this phenomenon and took measures to change the situation. This video is about how you can do what I did to continue enjoying Instagram without getting sucked into someone else's follow-unfollow game. Before I go any further, I want to provide some background on why some people are even playing the follow-unfollow game. Ever since the days when sites like MySpace and Friendster were the predominant social media sites, there was a certain tradition that developed that I'll call the Internet Golden Rule, where if someone follows you online, you should always return the favor and follow that person back. Unfortunately, that polite tr tradition has been upended due to too many people having ambitions of becoming Instagram influencers. Now, what is an Instagram influencer? Pixlate.com describes that person as influencers or Instagram users who have an established credibility and audience who can persuade others by virtue of their trustworthiness and authenticity. Your brand's influencers or users that employ your brand, hashtag, who have the largest number of followers. In layman's terms, an Instagram influencer is someone who shows a product on his or her Instagram account in exchange for a reward. Sometimes the person receives money, while other times the person gets freebies, like getting free clothes or free jewelry or whatever. Some people have actually managed to have thriving sidelines as Instagram influencers, such as Kim Kardashian and Tori Spelling. Of course, there are online articles from so-called experts claiming that there is a huge demand for Instagram influencers and anyone can become an Instagram influencer if one follows some steps that some marketing website has posted online. However, many of these articles omit the fact that some of the most successful Instagram influencers are people who are already well known and they became famous in another medium before Instagram ever existed. Kim Kardashian was initially known for being the daughter of the late Robert Kardashian, who was a lawyer in O.J. Simpson's murder trial back in the 1990s. And she was also the stepdaughter of Olympic gold medalist Bruce Jenner. That was before he, he came out as a transgender woman named Caitlyn Jenner. She first stepped into the limelight as Paris Hilton's personal assistant before starring in that infamous internet porn video, that led to a real TV reality show starring her and her family called Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Tori Spelling is the daughter of the late legendary pro television producer Aaron Spelling, and she first became no well known when she appeared in her father's TV show, Beverly Hills 90210. Since then, she has appeared in a few made for television movies, and she has also starred in her own reality show. People like Kim Kardashian and Tori Spelling already had name recognition, so it's no big deal for sponsors to shower them with products to show off on Instagram. Less famous people may look attractive and are very photogenic, but they tend to have a harder time making any kind of living as an Instagram influencer because they lack name recognition. At first, these wannabe influencers will try the posting tons of selfies where they wear sexy outfits on the beach or in someone's bedroom, but with so many other wannabe influencers doing the same thing, it's really hard to stand out for potential sponsors to take notice. So the next tactic these wannabes will try is to increase their follower count in an attempt to prove to sponsors that they have a huge following. This is where the follow-unfollow game comes into play. The rules of this game are simple. 1. Seek out Instagram accounts that have a small number of followers that are less than 1,000 or 2,000 followers. 2. Follow those Instagram accounts in the hopes that these are people who observed the, the internet golden rule of following that person back. 
Three, after about a week or two, go back to those accounts and immediately unfollow them, regardless of whether the accounts had followed them back or not. The people who play the follow unfollow game had never really cared about your Instagram feed in the first place. They only want you to follow them back in an effort to boost their follower counts so they can go to advertisers and claim that they have 15,000, 20,000, 25,000 or more followers. Since Instagram doesn't alert you as to when someone has unfollowed you, because they only alert you if someone new has followed you, you will have those wannabe influencers flooding your newsfeed with their photographs, which are usually selfies, while they have long since unfollowed your account. The follow on follow game also screws with your own follow count because one week you could get an additional 20 followers while the next week you end up losing 18 followers because nearly all of them were really wannabe Instagram influencers who were simply playing the follow on follow game. Now I'm going to tell you how to avoid getting sucked into someone else's follow on follow game on Instagram. First, you need to let go of the internet golden rule of always following back someone who follows you. That's important. With a number of people playing the follow on follow game on Instagram, you are under no obligation to immediately follow someone back just because he or she decides to follow you first. When you get a notification that someone has followed you, go to that person's account and take a look at it. Here are a few telltale signs of what to look for when deciding whether this new follower is a wannabe Instagram influencer who's playing the follow on follow game. Look at the number of posts that consist of selfies. If at least 75 or 80% of the photos posted consist of selfies, that's a telltale sign that this person is a wannabe influencer. Another telltale sign is to look at the person's number of followers versus how many accounts the person is actually following. What you're looking for is something that's really lopsided, such as this person having nearly 13,000 followers while only following 881 accounts. Or this person having 80,000 followers while only following 2,200 accounts. Or this person having 22,000 followers while following only a little over 1,000 accounts. People with a high number of selfies and such lopsided following numbers are the ones who are most likely playing the follow-unfollow game. A third telltale sign is how the person describes him or herself. If you see words like influencer, fashion, lifestyle, blogger, travel, marketer, or strategist, that person is definitely playing the follow-unfollow game. Sometimes you'll get someone following you who posts in a different language that you don't even understand. In this case, I got followed by a wannabe influencer who posts in a language using the uh, Cyrillic alphabet, which as an English speaker, I don't even use. This person is probably posting in Russian or some other Slavic language, none of which I speak. If you see an account that matches at least two of the criteria, completely ignore that person and don't follow back. You don't need fair weather fans since they basically consider you to be just another follower number and not a person who's providing content on Instagram. There's a chance that before you found this video, you found yourself in a situation where you did the follow back courtesy to someone even though you were unaware that the person was actually using you merely to boost his or her follower count. You didn't do this just once, but you did this numerous times. And before you know it, your news feed is crammed with selfies of total strangers whom you had only decided to follow back because that person had followed you in, in the first place. Meanwhile, your own follower count would alternate between briefly getting a few new followers only to lose them and your follower count has never risen above a certain number. It's time for you to take your Instagram news feed back by pruning yourself of those accounts who are only playing the follow on follow game. There are two ways to do it. If you have a block of a spare time, like an hour or two, go to your account, then just tap on your own following link. You will be taken to a list of people whom you are currently following. Tap on the accounts that, that you are following and take a look at it. Like I mentioned earlier, you are looking for three telltale signs that someone is a wannabe influencer playing the follow on follow game. One is a high percentage of photos that are selfies. Two is a lopsided ratio of follower versus following numbers. Three is the use of words like influencer, fashion, lifestyle, blogger, travel, marketer, and strategist. If you have an account that meets at least two of the criteria, immediately unfollow that person. Once you unfollow that account, 
Take a look at the blue button. If it says follow instead of follow back, then you know that the person has long since unfollowed you because he or she was simply playing the follow unfollow game. If you're strapped for time, the alternate method is to simply wait for someone's selfie to come up in your newsfeed and you don't recognize that person at all. Go to the person's account and look for the high number of selfies, the lopsided follow, follower to following ratio, and words like influencer, blogger, etc. Immediately unfollow that person and chances are that you'll see the blue button that says follow instead of follow back. This method is slower than just blocking out time to go through all the accounts that you are currently following. But if you devote about 10 to 15 minutes each day to this, you'll eventually prune your Instagram account of these influencer wannabes. Whether you go through all the Instagram accounts that you're currently following all at once or just dev devote 10 to 15 minutes a day to doing this, you'll eventually notice a change in the quality of your news feed. Instead of seeing endless selfies from strangers, you'll start seeing photos from people you haven't heard from in a while because all those influencer wannabes were clogging your newsfeed with their selfies. If more people refuse to follow along with those wannabe influencers who are only playing the follow unfollow game, then maybe Instagram can revert back to being the social media site where you look at pretty pictures of various landscapes or animals or sculptures or anything other than selfie after selfie after selfie. Besides, with so many people vying to become Instagram influencers, the reality is that very few people will actually have a career as an influencer. Even the people who manage to earn money from being influencers won't always have a steady future in that field. Olivia Jade is one such example. She initially got attention on, on both YouTube and Instagram because she's the daughter of, of actress Lori Loughlin, who appeared on the sitcom Full House, and fashion designer Mosimo, Mosimo Janui and she managed to get a few paid sponsors for her posts. All that came crashing down when her parents were arrested in a college admission scandal where they are accused of hiring someone who managed to get Olivia Jade and her sister Bella admitted to the University of Southern California as rowers for the school's crew team, even though ne neither sister had ever pursued that sport. And Olivia Jade was recorded on YouTube saying that college is interfering with her influencer career. Um, and then the whole college thing, yep, I'm going. I'm living in a dorm with a roommate who's so sweet. Uh, with work, it's gonna be hard. Like my first week of school, I'm leaving to go to Fiji for work. And then I'll be in New York a bunch this year for work and traveling to a different country because I'm creating something with this country and that's her work. So I'm, I don't know how much of school I'm gonna attend, but I'm gonna go in and talk to my deans and everyone and hope that I can try and balance it all. Um, but I do want the experience of like game days, partying. I don't really care about school, as you guys all know. <laughs> Since that scandal broke recently, Olivia Jade has lost sponsors from Tresemme, Sephora, and other companies that had previously sponsored her Instagram posts. Then there's, there's, an, there's another wannabe influencer named Jesse Taylor who was so desperate for people to notice her above all the other wannabe influencers out there that she started to proclaim in online videos that she's a racist. You're insecure about the fact that she's more like better looking than you. And you need to accept what? that. No, she's no. fucking black. No, why? What need... Wait, why? Are you kidding me? This is I what I hear. I am a racist. This is what I hear. I'm blame me over you, honey, because you're a hood rat and I'm not. Wait, yeah, I am no, racist. Okay? I am racist. No. This led to people reporting her account to Instagram and Instagram yanking her account. At that point, she made an infamous crying video that went viral. I'm in LA because I want to be on Instagram and I'm randomly just recording this to put this in the video. I, I am nothing without my following. I am nothing without my following. And when people try to hate on me and report me, I'm literally trying to be a fucking better person. I want to say to everybody that's been reporting me, think twice because you're ruining my life. Because I make all of my money online. All of it. And I don't want to lose that. And I know people like to see me be down and be like them and be like the 90 percenters, the people that work 9 to 5. That is not me. I am in LA to not be like that. I work so fucking hard to get to where I'm at. And for that to get taken from me is the worst fucking feeling in the world. It literally sucks having people want to come after you for no fucking reason. And it hurts. And I don't think people understand that, like, this is my fucking life. 
I am nothing. I was a fucking prostitute, for God's sakes. I was a fucking prostitute. I stripped every single day. I don't even do that shit anymore because I make all of my money online. I don't want to go back to that life. From the bottom of my heart, it sucks. Then there are luxury resorts that have become inundated with requests from wannabe Instagram influencers begging to let them stay at these resorts for free in exchange for posting a lot of selfies at those resorts on Instagram. More recently, I've heard rumors online that some wannabe influencers are so desperate to get sponsors that they not only play the follow-on-follow game, but they will also go to an upscale store, buy an expensive item with a designer's name on it, post a photo of it on Instagram, then falsely tag that photo with the ad hashtag while implying that the designer in question had already paid that wannabe influencer to feature that product in his or her post, when in reality, that designer had absolutely nothing to do with that wannabe influencer or the post. The idea is that the wannabe can go to other potential sponsors and say that not only does she, he or she have thousands of followers, which were mostly obtained through the follow-on-follow game, but sponsors had already paid that person for ads, even though that, that person had purchased that item and falsely tagged it as an ad. With people like that trying to make their careers as, as Instagram influencers, it's yet another reason why you should keep your distance away from them and not fall into their follow on follow game. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to share this video and hit the like and subscribe buttons. And check out my blog, Sagittarius Dolly, at SagittariusDolly.wordpress.com. Also, feel free to unfollow me on my Instagram account at Kimberly and Keys. Unless you are only into playing that stupid follow on follow game, in that case, you need to just die, you wanna be influencer hack.